All right. Today's Groundhog's Day. But guess what? I hate Groundhog's Day. The movie, that is. Can't stand the movie. And why can't I stand the movie? Well, I really, really don't like reruns. Don't like the reruns. So let's go over what it is I don't like about Groundhog Day, the movie. All right? I don't like the fact of the of the rerun and the same old, same old patterns. So you can do this. You can stop the same patterns. Why do I hate Groundhog Day? I hate reruns. I Who makes a whole movie full of reruns? I couldn't believe it the first time I started watching Groundhog Day. I was like, am I really seeing this thing over again? At first I was like, is this surreal? Am I not paying attention? What am I seeing here? This thing was going over and over and over again. What am I watching here? And then I thought, seriously, they did not put a movie together full of reruns. A movie full of reruns? Are you serious? And then I thought to myself, you know what? We we do it does have a good moral of the story. You go over and over and over again with the same bad behaviors. And why does it take us so long to figure out our same bad behaviors? Bill Murray is doing the same thing. It was taking him over and over and over again to figure out the same bad behaviors. And then he was kind of doing a play on the world. Well, can I go ahead and throw myself in front of a train? Can I go ahead and be mean to somebody and see how long I can get away with it? Can I go ahead and just eat a big fat donut and see how long I can get away with it? So he was going ahead and seeing how long he could get away with his bad behaviors. I hate the movie Groundhog Day. I really do. It was so irritating to me. How in the world can you just go ahead and watch these reruns over and over and over? But do we do the same thing with ourselves? Do we just keep doing the same things over and over and over? I told you, I gained the same weight over and over and over. And I was like, I have got to put a stop to this rerun of my life. Toxic moods will ruin your health. Chronic long-term anger. That's one thing that you have to put a stop to. Uh, I had this conversation with my friend over the weekend and she's like, doesn't that make you angry over different things that we were talking about? And I was like, I don't, I can't, I cannot ha afford the toxicity of anger in my life anymore. And she's like, how do you stop it? And I'm like, well, it's second Corinthians 10, five. You cast down these evil imaginations that would dare themselves to exalt themselves over what you know the word of God to be. Um, you, I, I can't afford to have toxic uh, emotions overtaking me anymore. And you learn how to stop that. You learn how to stop it. And you can stop it. And you have to learn how to stop it. Because toxic moods can ruin your health. And I can't afford that anymore. I cannot afford toxic moods to ruin my health. Chronic long-term anger is linked to high blood pressure, heart disease, headaches, digestive problems, skin disorders like eczema, stuff like that. Um, I already have a family problem with migraines. They go through our, our family, they're very ingrained and I, and I do um, deal with migraines all the time. So the last thing I need is to um, allow myself to have these toxic uh, anger or toxic uh, mood, mood disorders with depression and all of these other things um, because they, they get toxic in your body and uh, you really have to um, wash those toxic uh, things out of your body and really do. They really do emit toxic um, things into your body and you really have to get rid of that. Depression is linked to heart attacks, literally heart attacks. They weaken your immune system. They cause you to have fatigue, cause you to have weight gain and loss. We talked a lot about the weight gain and loss associated with depression. Uh, depression can cause you to have insomnia, 
and can cause you to have increased pain. So there is a lot of actual health problems uh, associated with toxic um, emotions like anger, like depression, like a whole list of things. So really, 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 you cannot allow yourself to be um, wrapped up in toxic emotions, such as Bill Murray was. He was always angry at everybody and everything. He didn't want to be in this little town. He didn't want to have to deal with a groundhog of all things. He was angry about it. He was angry at everybody and everything. And he had to learn that he could not get away with that or squish a bug like I just had to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so seriously, you, you really um, cannot afford to have these toxic emotions in your life because really it's hurting your health and you, you can change that. You really can change that. You have to work at it. You have to literally cast down those uh, thoughts that would dare to rise themselves above what you know the word of God can, can do and it can change it. You can get a hold of those emotions. You can cast them down. You can get a hold of a negative emotion and change that around in your body. And you need to, to make sure that you stay healthy. How do I change a habit? You... <laughs> Here he was, uh, Bill Murray, constantly walking in that mud puddle every day. Oh, that drove me crazy in this movie. Does he have to walk in that stinky mud puddle every day? Every day. Can't, don't you know that you're going to walk in that mud puddle every day? This was like my, my the bane of my existence if I had to watch this movie. It drove me wild. Why does he have to walk in the mud puddle every day? You know you're going to walk into it. Why do you have to walk into it? right? How do I change a habit? Well, I got on this website, the more mental health, and it says, number one, be honest with yourself. Do you have an actual habit that needs changed? Yes. Yeah. Having a, I have a habit. I need to change it, right? Why? Why do you need to change it? Well, it's unhealthy. I need to change a habit to, and, I, and I need to change it. What's the root cause of it? It's unhealthy. It's hurting me, right? Create a plan create a plan. I need to write it down, right? What is, what is the plan? Say, let's say, okay, let me give you one of mine. Um, I, I need to be honest. I was overeating. Why? Uh, probably because I had a depression or something going on with my, myself. Create a plan. Okay. I'm going to stop. I'm, remember we talked about taking just one thing away. So I'm going to stop drinking sodas. My best soda was Dr. Pepper. Love Dr. Pepper. So I'm going to take that away because it has sugar, which is not good for me. It has carbonated um, sodas. You know, that's not good for you either. So write that, write down your goal. My goal is to uh, get rid of this uh, carbonated sodas um, out, of, out of my diet by two weeks. I'm going to give myself two weeks. Tell your friend about your goals. Easy. I talk to my friends all the time and they get tired of listening to me, right? and give yourself some time. I gave myself two weeks and then don't give up on yourself. It took me like three months. <laughs> All right. But don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself. Okay. And that's why we did this. We, we formed a support group here and we're telling each other, we were joining into, um, the, the, uh, my, uh, my fitness, isn't it my fitness pal? <laughs> uh, and so we do weigh in Wednesdays. And uh, you can join it to my Patreon and we can do, we do daily support. We do weekly support. I just had a weekly support uh, group that we just had right at seven o'clock on Thursdays. Uh, we do all kinds of things. Um, so if you want that extra group and we even do one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, for a group, if you want to do that. Uh, so you can have extra support. We do all of those things. All right. If you want it. And in the end, what did Bill Murray learn? All you have to do is be kind. All he had to do was learn how to be kind and he could finally break out of that loop. And you can do that. You can break out of these negative loops, break out of these negative loops like anger, break out of the negative loops of depression. It can happen. I'm not saying it's easy. I said the struggle is real. Did I not say that? I've said all along the struggle is real. I've never said that it's easy. But we can help each other here. We're here to inspire each other. We're here to encourage each other. We're here to cheer each other on. And 
ultimately, Bill Murray learned all you had to do was be kind. If we could just learn to be kind the first time, we can break out of these negative loops. Amen? And so, in a world where you can be anything, and isn't that amazing? Now we have a world where we can truly, truly, truly be anything. All we have to do is be kind. All right? So, just be kind. It's real easy. Real, real easy. So I encourage you all just to be kind. It's real easy. And you can break out of that negative loop. You can cast down any imagination that's rising itself up in your brain. You can break that negative loop and just simply be kind. It's real easy. Love you all. Have a great day. And let's move beyond Groundhog Day. <laughs>